Hey ho! Here's another June video. I'm slowing down video production for my own sanity. Thanks very much. A slower video output would be fine. <laughs> Not that I'm putting too much effort into this anyway. So, misunderstandings are those base conflicts that work on anything. Romance, mystery, horror, drama, angst, and best of all, comedy. Misunderstandings in fiction are deeply, inherently relatable due in large part to the fact that humans are very flawed creatures who like to see their own experiences from behind the fourth wall in order to purge. I can't even say it's self-actualized. It's just pure catharsis. You know? <laughs> and the further you go in terms of extremity, with a fictional misunderstanding, the better. Farce is good in moderation, as many, many things are, but the thing about Udamanabu and Nippon TV's adaptation of Onokosuke's Gokushufudo, or Way of the House Husband to any English speakers out there, is that when you weave misunderstanding as the central part of your plot, you can manage something that doesn't feel ham-fisted. Why the hell am I saying this about an adaptation that had scenes like this? Or this? おおかりますか。ポチポチでんな。ほなまた来るわ。またのお越しをお待ちしております。おれです。トラだけにわしにぴったりじゃけ。聞かせてもらおうた。トラジロ。それは表や。表。トラじゃ。表は表。猫かじ
Why did they decide to get married? How long have they been together? When Tatsu and Miko started dating, how long did it take for him to decide to leave his clan for good? And how does that reflect on Miku? An average millennial salary woman who makes sure they make ends meet. The answer to all these questions ended up being Himori and the complicated mesh that is the relationship between their family. Her involvement in coming of age story gave depth to things the manga couldn't supply. A conflict everyone, even the Yakuza and the police, could gather around and gave Tatsu another dimension and even a deeper reason to have left his clan behind. On top of that, Miku's promotion from salarywoman to what seems to be an architect or designer makes for some conflict outside of Tatsu's gaggle of ex-clan members. The sheer fact of having married an ex-yakuza, something she never even told her co-workers, they just assumed, ends up becoming a big conflict between their relationship. Corporate bureaucracy is the real villain, folks. <laughs> oh my gosh, just like in Good Omens. Anyway. <laughs> Where is the good omen, Zayu? Anyway, Tatsu's reasons for having married Miku is also seen as a conflict, seeing as Tatsu is a man of very, very few words. And people like to run around assuming his intentions because he just does not want to talk about it at all sometimes. <laughs> the idea that Himawari thinks that Tatsu only married Miku because he loved Miku but not Himawari ends up being one of the most heart-wrenching arcs in the show. And they execute it perfectly while still maintaining that sincerity and levity from its source material. It is incredible. Like, I, I know that doesn't sound like much, especially since it's a comedy show about a family, but I've been- I've mentioned this in The Secret Tree House's, like, first episode. These are still heavy topics. Any conflict within a family, no matter how overdone, no matter how many versions you've seen of it, the emotional impact of it is still heavy. Hell, in real life, the mishandling of these issues can lead to a lifetime of trauma. So, minimizing the impacts of it in fiction can be a little condescending and honestly disrespectful. Handling stories that center on familial conflict in a lighthearted but sincere way is a fine line to walk, and I, for one, applaud Udamanabu. Any uncredited writers of the series and all the actors who may or may not have influenced the way these characters were portrayed for pulling that off perfectly. I can't even necessarily agree that Himawari's edition made everything about about Goku Shufuro's story better. Nor can I say that her addition was the only thing they could have done to give this story that death or conflict. For one, they could literally have just made it that serious in the manga, but since this is a comedy manga, I feel like that would detract from the whole vibe, you know? Comedy manga is just all vibes, no plot. <laughs> it's a crack one-shot series. <laughs> okay. Given that they chosen to add her into the story though, the way they executed it and navigated the existing characters around her was nothing short of stellar. It's funny, sincere, and overall, it just makes so much sense. <laughs> Despite how serious the idea is that Tatsu would marry Miku while she's pregnant, even when they were misunderstanding each other about courtship and taking responsibility, they still found a way to be funny and heartfelt and God, maybe it's because most of these characters are like baseline stupid. <laughs> the funniest thing is that of this cast, Himawari has the brain cell most of the time. <laughs> the children are our future after all. <laughs> Apart from how much I love the show's amazing execution of such a specific and simple concept, the other thing I grew to realize about it is that not a lot of people seem to like it or have watched it at all. I don't know, I'm not really caught up with any fandom happenings and what little I know about fans of Go Shufudo mostly stems from fans of the manga. I don't see that much hype for the TV show itself or the spin-off series that I have yet to watch. If anyone watching this has, please help. <laughs> please. <laughs> I, I want to watch it so bad. Despite the fact that I know a lot of people are really, really into Spy X family these days, God only knows how long it's gonna last in mainstream consciousness before the next trend arises. There's still an overall sentiment of fuck em kids within the previous and current generations that I genuinely do not understand or care to, so perhaps I'll never understand why people don't like the live action, unless there's another reason for why people don't like the series apart from 
being Himawari centric. Maybe it's maybe it's the bullying. <laughs> the amount of bullying. But hey, I'll never know for sure. Just go watch it. It's it's so worth it. It's the <laughs> it's the perfect thing to watch if you're like super stressed from shit like I don't know fucking election escapism serotonin. <laughs> Goku Fudo is my mama me. <laughs> Thank you so much for even watching this no matter how rambly it got. I just really love this series. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want more content like this and if you want to support me further head on over to my Kofi for bloopers a week early access to episodes like this and any and all articles or files that I may send as a freebie to anyone in the discord server for Kofi members special thanks to my supporters and as always stay safe ingat tayong lahat bye